All right. Uh, today we're looking at lesson number three of our fraction concept notes, which is over how to do prime factorization. So the skill in Alex that this is going to match up with is that indeed prime factorization. So what does prime factorization mean? Prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original numbers. So remember, a prime number means only one in itself can multiply together. So here's our example. So we want to find the prime factorization of, let's say, the number 48. So I start with the number 48. I use my multiple, I use factors to break it apart. So I can use the first one that comes off the top of my head is 8, and 8 times 6 equals 48. So I write an 8 down and a 6 down. Can 8 be broken apart again? It sure can, into 4 and 2. Can 2 be broken apart again? Nope. 2 is a prime number, so I put a circle around it. Can 4 be broken apart? It sure can. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 is a prime number, so I circle those. So I want to be sure that I have circled numbers at the end of every little branch. So now 6. 2 times 3 equals 6. So I can circle my 3, and I can circle my 2, because those are all prime numbers. So right here, my prime factorization, notice all of my numbers are small numbers. They're going to be small numbers because they're going to be prime numbers. So I have 2 times 2. How many 2's do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I should have 1, 2, 3, 4 2's times 3 is my prime factorization. Well, Mrs. Hook, this is cool, but why do we need to know this? Prime factorization will help us when we're trying to find greatest common factors, least common multiples, and um, anything to do with fractions. So we're going we're gonna to practice this skill in isolation, so then it'll be really easy for us to find greatest common factors and least common multiples. So let's go ahead and practice one together. We're going to use a factor tree to write the prime factorization of 78. All right, so 78 is kind of a big number. But let's see, if I use my um, divisibility rules, I see that probably the most common thing would be to see that my 8 is a 2, so it's going to be divisible by, or is an even number, so it's going to be divisible by 2. So 78 divided by 2 gives me 39. And then, um, my 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to go ahead and circle him. Now, my 39, let's see, I know that if I add those numbers up, the sum is going to be a 12. So I know it's divisible by 3. So 3 times what is 39? How about 3 times 13 is 39. 3 is a prime number. 13 is also a prime number. So my answer would be 2 times 3 times 13. Now, how do I really know that this works out? Well, if I multiply all of these numbers together, what should I get? I should get 78. So it looks like I'm going to have 13 times 6 which is 78, so I know that's the right answer. So here's my prime factorization for 78. You are going to try the two you try problems, so I'm gonna, you're going to put the video on pause, write down your answers, and then I'll be back to check them. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at our prime factorization for 60. Now, there can be multiple ways to get here, I used the most common thought, the first thought that came to my mind was it ends in a zero. So I know that 6 times 10 is 60. So I chose 6 and 10. You could have chosen, um, you could have chosen 2 and 30. When we get down to the end, though, we should all have the same thing. So now I see that um, 6 can be broken into a 2 and a 3. 
my 10 can be broken into a 2 and a 5. No, this didn't work out as planned. 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 2 is a prime number, and 5. So my final answer for my prime factorization will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And when we get into exponents, we could also write it as 2 squared times 3 times 5. Okay, let's take a look at 42. Again, the most common fact that I know is 6 times 7. So I chose, so I chose to do 6 times 7. 6 can be broken apart into 2 and 3, which are both prime numbers. 7 is already a prime number, so we'll circle that bad boy. So my final prime factorization should be 2 times 3 times 7. And that is our answer to our prime factorization for 42. So I think that's it for today. We will do our stamp page tomorrow at school. So I will see you tomorrow, and we will work on that. Until then.